What's up, everybody? Michaela Vernava alongside Doug Kide at Gillette Stadium, where the Patriots are preparing to take on the New York Jets this week. And Tom Brady missed practice on Tuesday. He was getting hammered Thursday night mm -hmm. against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's, Doug, I mean, the offensive line not looking great, mm -hmm. but is that the only reason he's getting hit as many times as he is? It's insane. It's not. I mean, I think the offensive line definitely is struggling, especially the left tackle, Nate Solder. But all of these issues kind of stem back to the Brandon Cooks acquisition and Julian Edelman's injury. Both of those are making Tom Brady hold the ball longer because he has better deep targets this year, so he wants to throw deeper. He also doesn't have that underneath option, Julian Edelman, that would allow him to get rid of the ball quickly. Brady is holding onto the ball almost two tenths of a second longer this season. And those tenths of a second, those hundreds of a second, those really count when guys like, you know, these edge rushers that they face this season, or even those interior defenders like Gerald McCoy are bearing down on Brady. So I think that it's a combination of issues. The Patriots are allowing about maybe even more than twice as many sacks this season, but Brady is also holding the ball longer. So it's definitely more difficult for the Patriots offensive line to keep those defenders at bay. Well, is there anything they can do to better protect him? Because A, Julian Edelman's not coming back nope. this season, and B, you want to be able to give him that time to hit Brandon Cooks. I mean, that's what he's there for. Yeah, and I mean, Tom Brady can't continue taking these hits because he's he's had these shoulder issues, these shoulder injuries now two games in a row, and he's not going to want to land on that left shoulder anymore because that's the one that is injured, and if he starts landing on his right shoulder, then you have serious issues. I think the Patriots can tweak their technique a little bit at offensive tackle because in the past, they've tried to redirect these edge defenders around Brady and behind Brady. And once they're behind Brady, then Brady can step up and throw the ball. This year, since Brady's holding the ball longer, he needs more time. So those edge defenders are looping around, which is what the Patriots offensive line is trying to do. But now they have time to come back and hit Brady from behind. And that's really where you're seeing a lot of those hits and a lot of sacks. So. It's going to put a lot more pressure on Nate Solder and on Marcus Cannon to continue to block those guys once they're behind Brady and that clock in their head. They have to be blocking those guys a little bit longer than they're used to doing because Solder and Cannon have been blocking for Tom Brady for quite a long time. They're used to the amount of time that he gets that ball out. And this year, they have to hold those defenders a little bit longer. So I think we might see some changes this week and moving forward from Dante Skarniakia and the Patriots offensive line at how they try to block those edge guys. All right, well, for his sake, Brady's sake, let's hope they're able to. And I know <laughs> no one in Patriots Nation likes seeing Tom Brady go down Ooh. or get hit. Not a good sight. Oh, scary. Keep it on Nessa.com for all your Patriots news. <laughs>